This happens to me every time, every time. But so go. Right, so greetings, greetings. You are tuned into Reggae Global Radio. It is now 10 o'clock where I'm at, but it should be 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're joining on the YouTube, I want you to big up yourself. Um, if you're there on the TikTok, Instagram, whichever platform that you are able to see this on, but um, I invite you to go over to um, Reggae Global Radio or the Global TV platform, show the support, show the love, as well as the YouTube, Isaac McKenna 5419. This is Context Matters. I have a lot to talk about, but um, this, 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 the serious topic is this. Um, jury, as somebody say, jury, whatever, jury, jury, whatever. Um, poison or no poison. And I'm talking about this in the context that y'all know what is happening. Um, I must tell you, I share with you that I did my um, my presentation before the Privy Council, like a distinguishing distinguished gentleman. You know, I, I, I'm a bed, I'm a brush my teeth and thing like that. And I had the privilege of going before the Apex Court. That's why they call it the Apex Court. What's the significance of this? I'm so passionate about human rights. I think that when I was in the Jamaican space and you talk about human rights, that's why I tell everybody to go and watch the Bob Marley show because you see Rasta gets a fight from way before me born. And I thought of the first Rasta man, big you, first Rasta man on stage with, 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 with dreadlocks. And we live in a, a society where the court writes judgment and say that um, people with dreadlocks have right lies and judge. And so the discrimination is real. We can't pretend that it's not there. And 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 they live with it. Um, but I, I I speak about these things as travesty, travesty of justice. Um, anything that makes the least among us feel like they're not a human being is 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 a concern for me and the constitution is something i'm passionate about so i i have watched my speech and saw how 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 um excited i was to speak about the constitution and um there was nothing there was no nothing in my way all 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 the anything that would have been um a clog and a fetter was actually behind me but i didn't have to look behind me so whatever energy it's behind you. You don't have to worry about it, and that's just the reality. It speaks for itself. What 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 I must say though, um, before I start bigging up everybody, is well, that's one of the reasons why I want to talk about it because you see, um, we are sometimes we forget that we are so important that we matter matter and. I'm talking to my Jamaican people, my Caribbean people, whether you're in the diaspora, there's something about us. Um, it's not just being black. It's also where we are geographically located as um, original people stolen from our land and our generation. So some of us don't know that we came from the kings and the queens and the chief musicians and, and, and the architects of this world. And so it's taking us a lot of time to find our identity. That being said, there's nothing worse than being suppressed by your own. And so there's this book that I am encouraging everybody to read. It's called Animal Farm. Um, TikTok people, you, you, I know some of them know it. My people on YouTube, I know the world know this, Animal Farm. But there's a big thing now in the Jamaican space about independence. There's this big thing about the drive to get to a republic and the people want to have an understanding of why your masters, because they don't feel like they are your servants, why your masters, why the political elite want to get to a republic. It's a rush to abuse. It's, I'm humbly submitting this. And unless you get mature um, 
the opportunity for mature consideration and proper public education. And, and I'm talking now to my dunce people. I'm talking to my, my people who can admit that I am an uneducated person when it comes to them law thing and the, and, and the constitution thing. You would tell your, your representative, listen, speak in a language so me can understand. Make me understand what you say. So I don't care how you, you, how you bright and you brilliant. Make me understand and if me not understand, you can't get my vote for a referendum. But until it is that you, your rights are enforced the way that it should, your rights are reflected as our Chief Justice Sykes. Listen, I say this every day you know, because I am a true fan of Justice Sykes. I'm a true fan because he, he represents black identity. When you see your black brother, um, excelling, it is for the purpose of your kids and the next generation, so you have a markers of where you want to be in your life. This is what is so important about um, speaking in, the, in, in, in context matters, because you want to know where, 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 where the ceilings that you can shatter, the glass ceilings. Portia shattered a ceiling that Hillary Clinton never had the opportunity to do, and she's a white woman. But Portia, Portia became the first female prime minister in a region that included America. That Portia, that that Hillary Clinton didn't do it, and and it, these are you. And so women have the ambition to want to be prime ministers, and your sons and daughters must have that same ambition to be the best versions of themselves. So while it is that. I have full ambition to one day own a KFC franchise, so I don't have to join the line to get the barbecue chicken and these things. Um, I have to have markers of, 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 of what I want to be or where I want to be to be able to um, ascertain, to be able to reach my goals, to be able to do that. The, the, that's where we're headed. That's what we want. So here's a trick now. Um, the justice system in Jamaica would have been would have been thrust in the spotlight and rightly so by guess who vibes car tell himself so it is no wonder that there is there was a push to ensure that the loud mode mode load rasta boy don't get an opportunity and so the elite class did what they had to do it speaks for itself. I don't have to interpret, people can do. So I'm not even going to encourage anybody or incite anybody to think what the elite attempted to do. I, I was tried by um, a panel of my peers, all non-black people who um, rule with a heavy hand. And I trust the justice system and it, it led to where we are today. So who God bless, no man cursed. But when we speak of systems, when we speak of the right to a fair hearing within a reasonable time, let me read what our constitution says. So, so me, 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 me want to educate my Jamaican people. And if you're not from Jamaica, Google your constitution and see what your constitution says about this thing. Because this is what we talk, this is what was put on the world stage. How do I know it was on the world stage? I see it everywhere I go. I went into movie theaters and, and, and people said, I saw you on the stream. I'm walking on the street as a common man and people recognize who I am. For my, them, if you ever hear about 15 minutes of fame, it was literally that as, as, as the length of time that I had to make an impact in a passionate plea to ensure that the rights of four men who are wrongfully convicted, convicted by complete, and I'm going to say it in and I will get in trouble for it, but I'm going to say it, complete, utter dishonesty, disregard for the Constitution, a lack of integrity, gambling, like this is a casino, risk-taking, desperation, evil, wickedness Babylon system to ensure that when that when we got to this time in life what you think happened this time in life Afrobeats has excelled far beyond reggae because the players the movers and the shakers was oppressed we've had in this out of Jamaica 
just like how we have you seen board we got bob marley and people are gonna say i'm biased but do not ever ever count this out i've said this in many spaces vibes cartel is a national treasure vibes cartel was placed in the court of appeal courtroom one in the privy council his appeal was heard in the biggest court of the land and heard by the chief the chief the president of the privy council and the appeal court the appellate court and given given the respect and the human the humanity something that was missed and lost in other spaces and a discussion of constitutional rights and giving effect to for us by us because when our charter was created this thing that i i don't leave it you know i walk with it and my bible i don't ever leave it so i want y'all to see it. it's called the Jama it's the jamaican constitution but it's this particular aspect of it was bounded and given to me by mr bert samuels once my once my um my mentor and he said this was important and i would have known that because i was schooled by a tracy robinson and and, and nurtured at the university of the west indies and a umpy scumpy school me go so a a a test to show that when you speak about the constitution is your constitution they don't know it the lords respectfully don't know it but when a chief justice when our chief justice says listen this is homegrown this was made by us the people for the people by the people not from our colonial masters to, to have us escape slavery knowing that when we escape slavery and, and and on the road to independence we had to make sure that the least among us would be treated as humans because all we now have money but i can tell you say all the riches the silver and gold will vanish away but a good constitution will never decay and the the the, the, the creatures of the constitution can never abuse you when the constitution is working so what happened february 14th and 15th the working of the constitution, the showing up of a disgraceful moment where the constitutional rights, not no, because I can tell you this with, with pride and authority that in Jamaica, the court, and, and you can ask the people who are always on, whether, whether it be the Ratigan show or previously the Andre Stevens show, any one of these shows, when I appear on these platforms and we talk about the constitution and talk about the judiciary, the, the judiciary it works. So the complaint being made on the Vites cartel case was when the charter was just changed is when we were getting rid of the wickedness and the bad mind and the corruption corruption still there now. it's in our parliament the six don't come out yet but the corruption within the police force the use of the man phone the the tampering of in of of, of um technological information and then you have ha, we soon talk about the jury when you put people who 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 deal with police husband and wife white up on the jury or the police way where, 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 where responsible for security soldier up on the jury woman will sleep floor but our man of police and the mix up and then woman will own um funeral parlor where i walk up the street but had a cell phone and she's the this and she's that all of them mix up here go on you know real 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 thing and these things is 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 what is um is the other side of the game and so the right to privacy now is get your privacy breach your privacy then scandal you it's called ad hominem scandal you and use information to shift the narrative in the public space and speak about circumstantial things that don't necessarily have inescapable in inferences but why I say all of this? Because a jury of your peers is all those things that I tell you. But the key aspect of it is a properly constituted jury. That is, that, that, that is what we must think about, a properly constituted jury. So I go back to it now. And our constitution, section 16.1 says, whenever a person is charged, 
it's with a crim with a criminal offense he shall unless the charge is withdrawn be afforded a fair hearing within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial court established by law do you see that independent and impartial court people must ask themselves what is the independent and impartial court well at the time it would have been the jury at the time it would have been the judge and at the time it would have been how the process works the defense attorneys come in and the prosecutor is there and all of that so four men charged for murder not capital murder murder simplicitor and information collected collated and sorted by the police in breach of the Interception of Communication Act. And the Constitution, this Constitution, the Charter, and through the Charter, it says that to use this information, if it's not collected in the manner that the Charter prescribed, it must be demonstrably justifiable in a free and democratic society. That, that, that's, that's, that's the crux of the matter. Now, within the, this demonstrably justifiable in a free and democratic society, they said it's not, we don't need that. Them don't need that. Them, don't, them, them boy, they don't need that. Them, them, them definitely, and we not do it. And the judge says, aren't you daunted? Says to the prosecutor, he was in court today. Aren't you daunted by the fact that the people now have a powerful constitution that shifts the burden on you to tell us why you breach the right? And we know, we know, we know how it works because there's a case, there's a woman who had her cell phone, her son was murdered and they, they, they wanted the code for the phone and all of that and they go to court and all, they had to go to court and then a judge does the test. So just like how it worked for Uptown, it must work for the ghetto youth. But it never works so for these four men. We go to the Court of Appeal and they say, well, but mind you, Charter Young, people don't really interpret it yet. It came out at the time when Constitution get nice when I was in law school. So we, we get a different type of training. We, we grew up knowing that the Constitution was the done of all done. So all this one done and skeng done and done and done and all Steflan done. Yeah, the, the Steflan done ain't no done, like the Constitution. Them kind of things there. You sort of said the kingdom come from, not Jada. You know, the kingdom, not Jada. You get, you get what I'm saying? And yeah. And we ain't talking about Will Jada either. But you get the you get you get where I'm going. So with with all of this, with all of this now, growing up knowing, as in growing up meaning in the law and knowing the importance of the constitution, know about it importance of equality, the, the, the importance of um, treating your brother horizontally um, with respect and human dignity. Everybody has that right. That was what was deprived for these men. And coupled with that, after that conduct, the, here comes the jury now. Incident number two, woman say, ah, my son, same day I jail with them. Because guess what? You know, everybody picnic, everybody picnic can do no wrong. We see it on the TV every day. When them when the police murder them, them say, My good yard, him not do nothing. Yeah? When you when you when you go around you kill everything every, and, and and then when you dead, the, the, the news people report that you're a businessman when you when you when you's really the murderer and all of that. But I'm not assassinating the character of dead people. I'm just saying is when for the purposes of creating a narrative we do all kind of things and, and 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 try to make people um bad people good and good people bad and that's why when you try to defame people you find yourself um apologizing or sometimes you just have to apologize because you don't want them beat you and kill you because i saw them go on when they're ready and 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 you must have self-check morality you must know what what suits you when you are doing what you're doing so um the 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 key the key to that now is to not fall into the narrative of who's saying what it's never over till the fat lady sing but i can tell you this man 
The Bible don't lie. When God sent Moses for him people, them, him did already did know say he was going to put Moses in the same castle, the same palace as the, 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 the future Pharaoh. And that future Pharaoh was going to have inferiority, inferiority um, complex because this Pharaoh had to be in the trenches. The Pharaoh is not of the ilk of Moses because he was raised beneath Moses. So when you when you can't when you can't be in the, as the ilk when you can't do the law you have to be in the trenches and to be in the trenches you have to you have to you have to delve into nepotism because you can't respect the law when you're in the trenches the trenches is dirt the trenches is a pigsty so anywhere in the space you hear somebody say I am in the trenches every day. Because, because the executive, you know, you can ask the parliamentarians when they, the only time you see them is election time. They're not in the trenches. That's why you need the councillors for to be in the trenches and the, the MPs drive around in the big cars now, now and then from time to time because that too nice to be in the trenches. That's what we mean. So you say you're in the dirt and you're on the ground. You're the foot soldier and you're proud of that. It just means that you're not, you're not dealing with the, um, the, the, the the legal aspects you just you just a do work and a push push your agendas you're not yeah yeah that's what trenches mean so you lose respect for the constitution you lose respect for the system and that has caused that is what will cause a situation where a jury is tampered with so let's talk about hypotheticals because that's what that's all we heard um from the the side that wants to say that everything was justified to justify breaches of the constitution you say oh let's get into the minds of people now i can tell you this you can't get into my mind because things like here's what i'm i'm doing my speech and i don't know i don't know if i was hungry but i said tom tavares kfc is only people who come on ratigan show will know say will 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 definitely find it hilarious when I say KFC say it's most I said most I think about barbecue chicken why I'm just get up out of nowhere and and start to talk about KFC so you definitely you definitely can appreciate that from talking about KFC or thinking about KFC nobody's gonna just pre and think that you're a madman um in 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 that space or or in that context now when if one were to think about i'm i'm seeing that this thing frees up but i still have to um continue because that is what i have to do um nonetheless when when it is that all right say i'm back sorry about that i was talking about yeah i don't know how i i i said tom tavares kfc the good thing is i had a conversation with him and i'm using this platform to say i give that man i give that man his flowers this man says and and, and i'm saying this now and i know i'll have an opportunity in other spaces but when i said tom tavares kfc there was a response behind me that i gave no no weight to because i wouldn't understand that um tom tavares plays two roles he is a um is a senator he's a he, and he's a lawyer king's counsel so when he's in court when he has the first instance lawyer says to the judge it is your dilemma we have a constitution and the rights are breached it is your dilemma here's why you can tell a judge it's his dilemma and it, th those are nice words for Go on, go read it, because I make the law. I sign the law. I make the law. I write it off as a senator. I, the law you are reading now, you are, the, we have a, the doctrine of separations of powers. So the legislator is different from the judiciary. So I am the legislator, and I'm telling you the judiciary, go learn it, go read it. Because you breach it, I write it, I know it. So he did enough to save and preserve that aspect of it. Now, why is that important? Because, well, I'm just addressing that. I, I had the conversation with him about calling him KFC, and he understood. 
he understood that it wasn't disrespect. So there are some people who you can just take up the phone and call them and they'll be quick to write a paper to 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 get you in problems. But um he understood that. And in 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 especially like I say, I guess when I own my KFC franchise and I'm a belly big becoming I'm too much KFC, people will understand. But that that is important that you pre they, you understand what the constitutional rights is so the justice system is a hierarchy and so if you don't get justice at the first instance your 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 rights are preserved because that's why they call you an appellant although you're convicted the conviction is not final so one the, the people people will speak and 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 talk about you and 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 class you but many persons last year there are persons who were in prison for life and the convictions were overturned but same thing by myself and and mr clark where we at the court of appeal level so i'm telling you the the court in jamaica is operating with respect for human rights i say that with no apology so they can be upset with me but you're not gonna judge who sit on on, on the court and they not consider the constitution right there and then. You might not like the decision, but at least when you're appealing it, you have something to review. In this situation, there was nothing to review. And that was a crux of what I had to say to the to the, the lords at the Privy Council, is that they gave you nothing to work with, a constitution so fresh and so clean, with all of the niceties to protect you as a Jamaican, and the, the way the way of the Constitution posh is supposed to stush, yeah. So for those who say I gesticulate too much when you're talking about the Constitution, you have to be careful not to do too much with your hands in relation to the Constitution. So you have to keep far and contain yourself. I'll say it that way. Otherwise, you find yourself rushing legislation and just disrespecting the Constitution trying to say it right this time because I don't have five hundred thousand dollars to give nobody anyway so after saying that we're now at the court of appeal and in their judgment they had some critical paragraphs so if you if you're really interested you can go to the judgment and you look at paragraph 209 it was said today and the videos are out there circulating so go for yourself look at 209 look at paragraph two two. 238. That's the clincher. And I have a bet with my client. One of us, well, he lose a bet there already because by the time, you know, rah, 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 when I know what I'm say, <laughs> by the time them things are done, tattoo done, depth on hand. So, yeah, somebody are going to be a follow fashion. So, anyway, moving from that. So, from day one, you see these things and you, you know for sure there's nothing more um, intriguing than knowing when you know something is wrong you have an you have an internal locus of control so you have a feeling when something is wrong and when you hear when you hear when you hear people who can't really articulate themselves police running shoot 14 year old and they said no this wrong we want justice that is the call of somebody that is aware that their constitutional rights their right to be treated like, like with humanity is lost so Right there and then is the is the crux of what I'm getting at. And so day two comes. Now I really talk about the case safe and safe and except for day two comes. Day one horrible, obviously, but we 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 don't know. But day one not going so well because it's difficult to argue. <laughs> It's difficult, uh, women. It's difficult to say to you, don't you shouldn't work. You, sh you shouldn't work. You shouldn't be in the workforce because you're a woman. So in this particular situation, as a woman, you should stay home. As a woman, you shouldn't you shouldn't do certain things. Well, it's the same thing. Um, black people, you 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 shouldn't be treated as a human being in a white society because you're black. You're not like them um and it's hard to justify that it's like saying we need to get back to to slavery slavery is right you know because if you read the bible right enough you should obey your masters 
you read the Bible, right? You know, you must obey your politicians and vote the color where 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 where, where your community is or left a place. Um, so when you when you think of it like that, or short people tell you them wicked to you know as, as a short man, five eleven, never really get the six the people six and over them them hype. But the only thing hyping of them hype is them high, you know, but nothing else. But so I have like three, my mother have four sons, three of them gone way over the six, six three, six four. I think one of them six five. I used to say, boy, I'm a shot, but go to St. Thomas and check out Obi Man and the Obi Man say, get your antennas up, make sure you say rats grow long. And you know, make sure you have the vibrations and things so the energy can go into your brain because it's important. Say, yeah, so rather to be short and bright than tall and done. <laughs> Yo, if my brother then beat me up, I would have to do it for me, you know. So, anyway, 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 don't believe that alone. Zambo, I'm so sorry. I know that you're bright, Marcus. I know that you're bright, Peter. You're hopeless. <laughs> Yo, I guess. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Anyway, um, so just so I'm just trying to identify you, Marcus of discrimination. I know him on here, you know, but I'm in the UK, so and I can fight, Peter. I can fight, but you all know, don't lose, don't mash up your hip, don't try me. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was identifying Marcus. Markers of discrimination is what I was trying to identify. Reggae global people, I know they was they, they must be saying I said on I promise you is water. But yeah, markers of discrimination. So I spoke about the woman, spoke about the black people. So there's a today for you, tomorrow for me. So when you're talking about constitutional rights, I want to I want to make it absolutely clear. And before I left Jamaica, I said this to my clients, you know. Um the importance and significance of your, of your case, I want you to appreciate that it's not just about you. This is a, a transition, a monumental moment in the Jamaican society where you're either going to get rights or not have it. You're either going to be a solid victim of jumping up in the, in the truck back or being recognized that even if you don't have the money in your pocket, the creatures of the country, creatures of the constitution, that's why they're creatures. They're humans when they're not in uniform or not in office, but creatures when they're serving you. And they understood it's not just about them, as albeit the benefit of freedom. The benefit of freedom is a recognition that the words on the paper it's not just words on a paper, it has force. It's the done of all dons. And I, every Jamaican has to be passionate about that so he can say, what will not do to me? I know my rights. In countries like the United States, when you identify your rights, they leave you alone. When white people are being racist and they have a job, you say you're racist and they have, they'll be investigated and they'll leave you alone if they are. But the burden must always be that the people must treat you with respect. But at the same time, you must not be offended by the truth. If your mouth stinks, you must go brush your teeth. And if you're ugly, there are things you can do about it. They have cosmetic surgery if you're really not easy on the eyes. And life is so funny because the people around me, like my brothers that I talk about, if I start putting on weight, them tell me, say, belly big and you don't look good. So I have, a, I have a unit that can make me know to, to self-check. And I'm conflating the two so people can understand that there are times when you will be offended, but it's not a breach of your rights. But there's times when there are persons who are serving you go on spaces like this and say things about you, find themselves. I heard that in the paper today, some minister had to apologize to some FBI guy. Because the lawyer wrote them and I was like, wow. You have your big job and you're gone on, on show and, and, and behaving like ice and, and well, you're not gonna lose your position because you're with the elite, but you you know you're behaving like some lawyer down down there ah, and speaking out of turn. Yeah? So it goes, it pays. It's 
especially if you're defaming people. But back to the importance of what I'm saying. Um, we know at the rights aspect of it, and this is this is key. This is so important. We you know of a jury, 12 of them. Let me show you what a jury used to look like. Who can tell me, and I'm stopping to look at the comments now, who can tell me what's missing from a jury like this? Because back in the days, this is what a jury would look like. I may try to read the comments. Alison, Guy to Williams, Diana Atkinson, Jamaica Vibes, BCA, Rabbit Teeth. <laughs> what kind of name that? Kevin. Talk to me. What's what you're seeing? Ah, see, LLC say no females on the jury. One time for vote, you did have to have land. So no black people not upon them jury because black people never have land. So the, the concept and idea of the jury from the time of the Magna Carta was that distinguished white men who were noble and who were peers in a society would be the ultimate judges, albeit not from the law, but judges of the facts. And so your peers would have been distinguished gentlemen who would be able to make decisions about you. That's who they were. And, and, and so when I was getting my training and, 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 and my training to speak distinguished because there was a, a thought that you know, as an island boy, you 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 you, you need a little um, vibe to speak. So you know, you had to try to and shove that you speak dignified and speak like you like the floor that you sit on, you know, and a little frumpet to ensure that you get it right. But anyway, outside of that one would realize that a jury of your peers or our, our, our charter make sure it not say jury of your peers you know it say you un, unless the charges withdrawn you're afforded a fair hearing within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial court established by law so the jury now have to be your peers so when you go in a court and you see the helper come in and you see the same sky juice man where you never want to get a dollar and you see you see you see the the um office manager and you see the JP from Upper Soul, you know, and you, you you see a doctor and an accountant and you see somebody from Upper Sinandra, a wife, she usually becomes the foreman because she not no work, but she know for swipe a credit card because it was about her work. And he, he sometimes I sleep with the helper, so you know that go. So she don't call me upon the jury. Well, but anyway, that 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 type of um yeah, so the jury is a panel of the days of our lives, so that's why you have secrecy of the jury room. Because if, if you don't know them, they're just people who are citizens that have a right to act. And we have a jury act that says it as long as you're not mad. As long as you know, as long as you know, contact the, the dead, and as long as you don't go send Thomas and you get the frog and you put the lock, you know the frog mouth and you lock it and you get the dead man bone and you say behemoth and you get the buckler white rum and the, you, you remember quick cream soda. As long as them things are now going to get the verdict, you're good and you pretty much know. Say you don't have nothing to worry about. Um, but the complications comes in now when the judge has to balance who is on the jury because you have a constitutional right to a fair trial. So the jury who are going to be the judge of the facts, they can't be biased. And then you have implicit bias and you have explicit bias. Uh, the, you have the conscious bias and subconscious bias. These are the things that um, is faced within this trial. Now, everybody know you know them days there. Me can't think of one person who no know ramping shop. It's kind of like in the 90s. All babies were made from R. Kelly. Well, in the 2000s, uh, if you're at 2000 babies, chances are wherever your parents came from, you, 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 they listen to some vibes cartel, so that's how you got here. Anyway, 
moving from that, um, that, that jury was made up of people who were being bribed from as far back as November. You would have heard the respondent, that's the lawyer for the prosecution, says, listen, um, the man is corrupt. One juror is corrupt. One juror is um, convicted of trying to attempt to pervert the course of justice. That's bribing. But this man used to go, was went to lunch with them, knew them from even before the first juror came out. There was it. And none of them from November to March, to the 13th of March, none of them don't go to the judge. You get bribed from way back in November and none of you don't listen to you know, oath and signal nothing. But them saying you must pretend that those persons is not listening. And that is a matter for just the, the common man with common sense to understand that that don't feel right. Because justice must not only be seen to be done, you know, it's not it just not, justice must not only be done, it must be seen to be done. So when people said that that not look right, that's the starting point. So if you want to convict somebody, you must do it legally. It's almost like you can't, you can't, two wrongs don't make a right. And to ask that you you waive it, you oh waive my wrongs because that person is wrong is the most kindergarten response and an outs an absurdity in the law, a lack of um a lack of respect for what we as Jamaicans decided to do to, to protect. Somebody said, Isa, what does your peers mean? Um, is it race and status considered? All right, so the queen was here. <laughs> In Jamaica, everybody bad, bad, poor. Your peers is, your peers is everybody. We drive on, on the same road from, from, from the same road as you. If you are Jamaican, you are my peers. Whether you try out of many, one is your peers. The thing is, you have to identify discrimination. You have, and, and remember, you know, there are a lot of broken people in society. A lot of broken people. And I'm, 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 I'm wanting people to appreciate this. I want people um, to appreciate this because I hope it's not a situation where I'm going to have to change the battery in my camera because I see my camera gone. But I, I want people to appreciate this aspect. No, it's me turning it off. Come here, an idiot. Oh, yes, me, an idiot. All right, yeah. Camera change. Look like the other one gone. Yeah, but it's a good thing. I have a backup camera. Yeah. So um, I want people to appreciate that aspect of it. That 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 is your peers. Now, going back, going back to, yeah, going back to what I was saying about your peers. Going back to what you're saying about the jury. So this bribery was going on from as far as back, and so here are hypotheticals. Suppose you bri get bribe and you get a little money. And you get all that five hundred thousand dollar, and you say, "Yeah, my God, look at the people them." If it's a good little scam, and you want to just get to it, you want to just get to it. What you do? You just come off of the jury and leave the people them. These are hypotheticals. I'm not accusing. I'm just showing you how why it is absurd to assume that ten people. Me don't think say you can find ten people and put them in a one room and all of them righteous. I don't believe that. Now, I don't believe that. I'm not even going to assume that. What is what is important is that um, fair trial is 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 has has to have a higher standard than than um, speculation. And so, what if that happened? What if she said, "We get the five hundred dollar from the man, and I'm just run left them," and she come off of the jury, make up a story? Or what if they say, "Here, here's what we're going to do for trick them now." when we, we are going to split up the money and what we are going to do is you are going to go off first and then we don't, we live on. And then upon the end of the day now, while the judge are running off him mouth, we are going to just go on like say we are tape each other. Um, 
what 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 and then and then then me I go go in there come and nice him up already you know saying believe in me car 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 my sweet and so so me I go just go on like say I you would do it and then him I go just discharge me and then when we go in and I tell him yeah because then bad mind me you know as me is me is me is me is me is me is the one where he means the foreman, so and me had the done upon the pan jury. And you hear the judge say, Me not discharge anybody, you go run in and you said, Rotted. Him now, him now let me go so we can't speak up the money. What we gonna do now? All right, here what we gonna do. And them lock in the other room and him said police outside. What we gonna do? All right, so here what we gonna do. I'm gonna just find four of them guilty and let go one of them. Which one of me I let go? The one where them not really talk about. Cause you see them all them are technological. Me never even have one cell phone where me can use much less know about them something. Yeah, me never even know if you turn on video. Cause if you know anything about phone, we in, we in, we are in our year is 2024. And if you buy a smartphone and you're foo foo like me, phone smart and the way of me don't look me have camera where me I look on and the next one gone. Me never even know where I'm going. I mean me 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 my brain don't hurt me. Cause me are the fool, but the camera them smart. Anyway. I'm just giving you hypotheticals. What sounds wrong with that is I did it because I know if this is be when people go back and watch this, they're going to say, oh, my God, how could he say these things about these people? But that's the exact point. You cannot call on a court to speculate what would have been the minds of these distinguished men. You just simply can't do that. It's kind of like this. Let me show you why context matters. Sorry, TikTok, you have not seen this, but you should be also looking at Isaac Buchanan 5419, the Context Matters channel. Know the work rules, right? Here's what's appropriate. Possibly if you're the boss or if you're, I don't know, looking at the picture, you don't have to say it. Um, this is how speculation works, and this is why they say context matters, because Jay-Z goes up at the Grammys and he says, Beyonce deserves the Grammy. Uh, 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 oh, oh, she's my wife. Uh, uh, Blue Ivy, yeah. Ho, oh, I run the Super Bowl. Ho, Super Bowl. Ho, oh, whatever. And he says Beyonce should get a Grammy. And the person says, "Oh, so you're so sweet. It's all right." But when Kanye West say Beyonce deserves the Grammy, everybody say, "Yo, call it." Call the paramedics, call the psycho people, them. Kanye, he might lose his mind again. He is there losing mind again. And so it's not what he said, it's who said. And when people say it, um, they come at you differently. So and uh, this is why we know that context matters, because sometimes the truth is the truth, and it's offensive only because some people, when they say it, they're not supposed to say it. They are not supposed to be the one saying it. How dare you say it? How dare you be the one to say it? And, and, and we, are, we are rejecting the fact that you are the one who's saying it. See? Yeah, so I'm putting that out. Anyway, so what we're faced with now is the judge ultimately could not discharge the poison. And that is what we were talking about today. Having a poison. So you ever buy grapes? Are you ever buy a bag of fruits, a bag of orange, and one of them spoil, and it rests on the next one? It makes the next one rotten, and that's why them say um, rotten grapes spoil the whole bunch. The same thing. Um, anything rotten, you put something rotten around things fresh, it contaminates it. And if you leave a rotten grape in a in a bag in a bag of grapes, and you leave it, it ferments, and then after it rotten and all of that. The drunken people them turn it in a wine and then them drink and drunk. And then when them drunk, them get them 30 pieces of silver and then them turn Judas. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. You get the point. I don't forget too much into that. Save on to say that. You must know. Would you want it's almost like this? Jamaica have a scamming problem. Would you want a scammer? Pan your jewelry. Would you want that, knowing it? It's almost like this. This is. Let me show you this new standard. L let me give you the new standard because I want you to appreciate this. Uno no says six people in a parliament corrupt. Corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. Uno don't know them name. Uno really all right with that? 
because that's what happened. That is exactly what happened. And the court sanctioned that. So that's why that is why in the Jamaican space, certain things don't matter. Can you know say somebody? But I me them have strength for me will do my time and finish my time and years gone. Years, 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 so much years gone to my age, my age, my age up there like Moses, the way of me whole. And you talk about things me do when me did young. Yeah? And you and then say, oh, you shouldn't be in the profession. Oh my God, how them have him in the profession. And you go on, you go on, you read the comments on them say, yes, yeah, yeah. What them say? Why? All them have him in the privy council attack and him a convict. What a thing. Yeah, this sounds so stupid. But when you know I'm you know, in a profession, but when you can have six corrupt people in the same parliament, I own a friend. When you know not want, when you, it's a problem for people because it offends the moral standard because people no one identify. That's why you see me. You see, if he's a drunk, me want to say he's a drunk. So in the white room, they there and you say, yo, me, me I forward in you know, and lock up my white room. If he's a thief, me want to know he's a thief. Just ask Jesus. Because he knows that Peter is a little fraud and did I gonna deny him. Here, here, Peter. Is it me? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus said, you see when the clock strikes three, you are going to deny me. And when them, when the people, them, when them say, run, boy, run. Welcome for Peter. Peter said, I don't know him. I don't, don't mix me. I don't know him. And no, I'm not talking about Peter Bunting or Peter Phillips. I'm talking about Peter that was walking around with uh, Jesus. But not never sweeter. Here doubted Tom. Is it me? Oh, no, you, Tom. You doubtful. Don't worry about yourself. Here, Judas. Is it me? <laughs> Jesus said, Lord God. I should have just take my sword and just chow. Anyway, but Jesus put on the sword. But him did go pray and him said, God, let, take this away from me because I can't believe my good, good brethren are going to betray me for 30 pieces of silver. Because then we, then we take the money. So it's good. Jesus knew. And so the 12 disciples re represent the 12 jurors who are juror of your peers. That is the key thing about it. The 12 disciples rep represent the 12 years of your peers. So it tells you that in the disciples, at least one of them are going to sell out. At least one will sell out. And so what it is, is the most important thing is that you, you must get a fair trial because it's you. So when you hear things that talk about, I wave, I wave it and I took the gamble. Took the gamble with my life. You took a gamble with my life, and you're asking the apex court to respect that you are a gambler. Guy, if you if you gamble with my life, you will gamble for thirty pieces of simple silver. Anybody will tell me say them a gambler. Them not me no want them wrong my money. Cause it look like a SSL you come from. And if you declare yourself a gambler, you should resign from your position. How do you think about that? Just sounds, it sounds wrong. And so, here we have a poison that was allowed to stay and fester. And if you know anything about people, just put them in a room and poison them. And you see the result of that. That's it, you know. That's it. But... I digress. I'm not here to speak about politics. I'm here to speak about context matters and to be careful about the words that you use because they can be emotive. Yes? Go right now, suppose I say, yo, I'm on a KFC bus, but done a KFC. Me run every KFC around in other place. So it's when it come to barbecue chicken, not even the pan chicken man them can come test me. Call me a cat, a boss. Yeah. It's context. Just saying I love barbecue chicken, but no. Leave it to them. They're going to say, oh my God, he's running a chain of restaurants and the, the, we have identified from our intelligence that that gang is red and white, them use. And them have them have a hot them have a branch 
in a cross road, two in a half a tree, one pan Redhills Road, one pan Boulevard. They have one in a mountain view, and they have one down a roundabout, and they have all one in a the airport. And so it's a big organization all across Jamaica, and our intelligence says for that we must charge them for hunting gang. All the work of them wear red. It's a big organization. And what them do is to make the people them line up and take them money and them give them the product. Mm -hmm. That is how it works. And then when you find out, say, I just chicken, you say, well, keep them anyway because we need a second bite to try to ensure that um, we do our job because we never do our job because we were overzealous and we overcompensated and, and tried our best to ensure that we we, we, we breach rights because this is a, a, a monumental moment and it will look good on the record. Yeah, that, 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 that aspect of it. And so I'm just sharing this because I want, I set the stage to talk about just basics. Because I tell you this, this is no, 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 no I, it's four, four years. It's really more than four, but four years as, as, a, as, as lead, as a person responsible, not just a researcher. Because my, my independent research paper in school was jury. So I uh, pretty much put this into existence. So when you prepare, you kind of know it. Now, I've read more than 2,000 cases all across the world. I've read every constitution um, as long as it's in the English language for comparative purposes. Jamaica is the most superior when it comes to charter. I, and I ask anybody to challenge me on the charter now and not, 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 not if they change it and, and the people don't vote. And... I've never seen in the modern common law when constitutional rights mattered, when slavery ended, when black people started to be treated like, like, like um, human beings rather than just breeding horses. And I can tell you this, even today, uh, black man, you're not supposed to be intelligent, but just make sure say, you can lay a pipe and you can do this. You know, a plumber, put it in context, and make sure that if you're a carpenter, you can, you know. Anyway, but to 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 be more precise, um, and pedantic and exacting, no. Never in common law, and not in my lifetime, has there ever been a a poison placed on a jury, a corrupted person that we know are corrupted, like six people in parliament that we know are accused of corruption and are allowed to stay there by process and procedure. Never has that happened when it comes to a man's liberty. A man's liberty has, is at stake. And, and corruption is what was used to send the four men to prison. You see how Jamaica corrupted? Corruption was sanctioned, and you witness it for two days. They beg for corruption to be certified. Corruption, you know, they took corruption out of Jamaica and brought it to the, the streets of England and walk into the apex courts of our land and said, these are our submission. Corruption can be allowed to stand. We turn a blind eye for, to it because that is what we want. That's what we want for our nation, to be allowed to let corruption stand in pockets. And even when we know, provided in a particular situation, people we don't like, people from a certain area, we can deal with them and we should have that power. If that is not dangerous, I don't know what, it, what, what danger is. If that is not concerning, I don't know what it is. And... It is in that vein that I just want to talk to people who don't. I don't want to get bored of me quick, you know. So, so I'm not. I'm not I don't want to to lose or distract people. But to say that we're gonna talk about the jury, 
we're going to talk about ideally because sometimes some people taste your spirit, you know, and you have to sit down and say, more time you have to say, yo, go on, do something, you know. But then you think, you can't go lay down other people, them dog kennel. It's not like, it's not like, it's not like America where they actually have, you know, prison conditions that are conducive in the federal space. Or it's not like Denmark or, or, or spaces where actual white people live and they have to make sure say, they don't um, breach human rights. But it, the conditions is not in a place where you would have to respect yourself. So you don't even want to thief a mango because they're going to treat you like you did commit a murder. You don't want to do, you don't want to, you don't want to lose your conscience. And the thing about it is, that's one aspect of it. Because if you put it in context, there are people who say, yo, this are me and this are what I'm going to do no matter what. And so these things aren't deterrents of crime. And these are the conversations that we have to have. But to have these conversations, the system must be a working system without the possibility of, of cracks, in the, cracks in the system that um, cracks in the system that would allow the common man. And when I must say common, I'm not talk common like common foul, but the man, a simpleton. A man who said, I don't want much, you know. I just want to do my nine to five. I just want to work my $13,000 a week. And I just want when Friday comes, I just go into my KFC line and get myself a meal deal. Can't even afford a big deal. So one piece of chicken for me and the tie or the breast for the daughter. Because she can't cook. No yam farmer anyway, because I don't want to pies of me. Them kind of things there. So for the simpleton to look on. And when he looks on, when he looks on, he says, you know, you don't want nobody to take away from your simple life. And you look on and, you, and you, him said, boy, because the country me live in, it's a place where I know, say, if I work hard and I do my best, I, I will have pride and joy and I can have hopes and dreams. And if I miss the boat, my kids will probably make me proud one day. Because that's what happened. Bob Marley, mother have nine kids. Bolt, mother have nine kids. If that, that, and look what came from that. <laughs> we can, do I need to talk about the Jacksons and Serena Williams and her sister them? And the Tony Braxtons? Holy for picnic, you must get a star when you have holy for picnic. So then the, the, the nurse lady wouldn't have said, oh, the Jamaican people, them stop a picnic. Because if it was busy procreating, you probably wouldn't be out there committing crimes. But I digress. I don't know. Maybe I'm no authority for that. But the point I'm making is, and we're at the commercial breaks. So I, I just really have, I, I'm going to have to break and then we'll pick this up back. So let's, let's, let's just let the time pass. Yes, sir. All right, let me remove that. Mm -hmm. So now, while 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 that happens, so I, as I said, I wanted I want to talk to you guys about the jury. So even while they're on the commercial break, is a is a is a good lick is a good little way to go. So I think I think it can work. So the jury system now. So I, I, I have said a lot, but um, it's context. And as I said, in the context, and let me, because I know people like to cut up and snip up. So let me make something clear. Speculation is a dangerous, dangerous tool. It is not based on facts. It is based on too many hypotheticals. It's not even circumstantial. It is completely ludicrous. It's like you, people, in speculation, you can include aliens. You can include teleportation. You can include um, time travel because you speculate, say, I saw it, would have happened. 
So if somebody don't come by plane and them don't come by boat, them teleport. You see me? You overs. You understand? You overstand. But with speculation, it is a problem. So here's the thing. Jury trials. And we're back. Reggae Global Radio, you're listening to Context Matters. And if you're joining from YouTube, welcome. If you're on, if you're on the TikTok, big up yourself, tap up the screen and share. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, that's correct. Um, two to three months. Well, we we get it at the we we're, we're not rushing the the, the 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 lords. They will do what they have to do, and um, they have a reputation to to always um be on time. Because delay is also a part of the, the constitution. A, a breach of the constitution is delay. And and whatever compensation from the delay is a matter for the court. But they recognize that. Um, so the jury trials are already an essential part of, of fair trial rights. So the right to a fair trial means that if we are charged with a criminal offense or if a public body is making decisions that impact our right, this has to be fair. So a fair hearing is what has to be fair. You must, you must get the opportunity to be heard. Once you get the opportunity to be heard, you can't go wrong in a life. So let's let's look at um let's look at this now. I always on context matters talk about Socrates. So Socrates, um, when he made his final address to the jury before being led off to prison. He warns those that sentencing him, they will hereafter be blamed for putting a wise man to death. So even in the days of, of the philosophers in Athens, that people were being wrongfully convicted. And they said if only they had a little patience, he suggests he would have died without the help. After all, he already he's already an old man of 70. So sometimes you see them all when the people them are 70, them are prosecute them and I send them a prison for make them live out the little bit of the rest of them days. No compassion, no humanity. So anyway, in his case, following the arguments, the herald of the court called on the jurors to consider their decision. So in Athens, jurors did not retire to a jury room to deliberate. They made their decisions without discussing among themselves and based in large part on their own interpretations of the law. So the 500 jurors voted on his guilt or innocence by dropping bronze ballot disc of the sort pictured above into um, Mark Ernst. So you all can't see it, but just, just visualize it like Plato's cave. I've given you all the concept of that. Um, very descriptive. So only a majority vote was necessary for conviction. Why am I speaking about this? Well, the four men we are talking about were convicted by majority verdict. So just listen to this now. Um, four jurors were assigned the task of counting votes. In the case of Socrates, the jury found Socrates guilty on a relatively close vote of 280 to 220. So interestingly, if less than 100 jurors voted for guilt, the accusers had to pay a fine to cover trial costs. If a defendant is convicted, the trial enters a second phase to set punishment. The prosecution and defendant each propose a punishment and the jury chooses between the two punishment options presented to it. The range of possible punishment included death, imprisonment, loss of civil rights, i.e. the right to vote, the right to serve as a juror, and the right to speak in the assembly. So you see, when you are convicted, you, are, you lose the right to serve as a juror. So imagine you pervert the courts of justice and then um, you want to um, remain as a juror. The minute you pervert the courts of justice or attempt, you commit a criminal, criminal offense and you should be removed. It's not rocket science. But the reason the judge didn't remove um, the man is because if he moves the man, he has to discharge the entire jury. So it's placed in between a rock and a hard place and... Um, his decision, um, I don't think persons can say that um, that decision would have been one in contemplation of fair trial rights. That is the argument that is put there. So naturally, um, Socrates, he was 
put sentenced to, to death. He chose death. And he died by drinking hemlock. Because who wants to live in a world where people just don't have no respect for human rights? But the difference in the modern time is the people them no makes you have to stay alive and fight for your freedoms and your rights. Because there are many before us, Marcus Garvey, Paul Boga, Sam Sharp. They might have, they, some of them died and they had to fight for our freedoms for us to now be doing that to our brothers and sisters and being unfair to them. So Lord Camden quoted in Rosa Mar Rosemary Bell Antoine's Commonwealth Caribbean Law and Legal Systems that trial by jury is indeed the foundation of our free constitution. When you take that away, the whole fabric will soon mold into dust. You hear that? It is indeed the foundation of our free constitution. And when you take it away, the whole fabric of the justice system um, mold into dust. So in recent times, the jury system has come under a lot of criticism. And certainly for this one, it will be, however, argued that for all the drawbacks, there are stronger advantages supporting the retention of the jury system and a lack of adequate alternative and shows that a common law community, we are not quite ready to abolish um, the jury system. So there was a whole talk by a, a famous um, journalist that if this case wins, Jamaica will abolish the jury system. I don't think so. I think legislators simply have to legislate that if you tamper with the jury or there is jury tampering, the, the trial continues with judge alone. That's what happens in England. So it preserves the jury system. And if you really want to be tried by a jury of your peers, you won't tamper with the system. So according to the Ministry of Justice of Jamaica, persons accused of certain crime acts are judged by a jury of their peers, a practice inherited from the British jurisprudence. A jury is a group of people drawn from civil society and who bring their common sense, experience, and wisdom to the matter of determining the guilt or innocence of a fellow, of a fellow citizen. This is done because of the belief that these jurors understand the nuances and idiocracies, idiosyncrasies of their society and bring their collective experience to bear on a trial. The trial by jury ensures that the citizens of a state are accountable to each other for decisions made rather, rather than to a government appointed judge so in other words, the basis for a jury is that it is a representative cross-section of the local community and therefore is more likely to judge in line with generally accepted values of the society. So jurors represent diverse backgrounds and therefore individual prejudices are likely to be neutralized. So justification for trial by jury is, is naturally what you would have heard just now. So what are the criticisms? Well. The first kink in the system is the selection process. With a wide list of exemptions, this results in a narrow pool of eligible persons who can be selected to sit on the panel. Most public officials, lawyers, and persons who provide essential services, such as doctors and soldiers, are exempted from jury service. This has, this has an impact on the composition of the jury and raises the question whether the jury represents the defendant's peers and attains a true representation of society. The jury qualifications result in both gender and class inequality with results in a composition which seldom represents the defendant. So you can imagine being an artist, you can imagine being a, a successful and then the people who are going to come and um, sit on your jury, your guys and the whole gully and, and, and the whole, uh, um, I don't really know, that, I don't really know nothing other than guys and gully. Where the other people them name? Somebody help me out. Um, oh, you miss you missed the you missed that interview already. There was one already. You know, you 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 will see the update. Check it out. Check it out when it happened. Um, vendetta, yeah, those those vendetta people, and yeah, um, and whatever those other people are, and you can imagine they come on the jury and say, "This is an opportunity for me to do good for um my vendetta people and the Crocs people." Um, and the general side people and and the 66 one xxx people yeah and the psalms 91 people too yeah 
All of those people. Yeah. Can you imagine and they want they want to eliminate the com the competition. So uh, could they ever really be a part your peers if they're biased and they don't indicate that to the jury? So they always talk about the unrepresentative composition of the jury is further compounded by the small multicultural societies found in the Caribbean. So another concern is inconsistencies between inconsistencies between um <clears throat> verdicts given and the evidence presented in court. So let's talk about that. You don't know, you can't even use a cell phone, but you bring back evidence, you bring back technological evidence in less than you're ready for find people guilty in less than two hours after after a 65 day trial. Some 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 people don't even work 65 days in their life and them can come and talk to them and go, them and go take information. I'm criticizing, you know, so this is the criticism. So context matters. Anyway, what I'm drawing your attention to is after 65 days of um of trial, you get a bunch of, and here, here I'm going to take this part and say, I said it's so disrespectful. Uneducated people put them in a room and expect them, and uneducated in the sense that they are not forensic experts. They, their competence level in terms of technological information is a little bit superior. And so they need a lot more um, instructions to understand that what they're supposed to do. Compound that with a situation where there is bribery. There's a situation where they know that they will go to prison when they vote. Uh, 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 to put it in time a, a different way, pressure, pressure under them, fire under them, moose, moose tail and then think a cool breeze and the result is if you if you stay true to where you're supposed to do you are got prison and evidence of that is one of the, the man the man get found guilty and them send the man got prison who's gonna put themselves through that think about think on these things so anyway um the, given that there's a whole lot of conversation that it leads to the jury disregarding the rules of law and coming up with inaccurate verdicts. An example where the jury considered both facts and law, though erroneously left to them, can be seen in the case of Sukram, 1971, where they had to determine whether the issue of self-defense rose on the facts. A task the court held was for the judge and not the jury. So sometimes there are tasks held for the judge and not the jury, but that's not the complaints to everyone except for when things are complicated your peers are is not necessarily um the the best person to assist or help you i have to be very mindful of that and care about that hold on um nicole so why was the evidence seen evidence seen bulldozer down that's a, that, i i glad that that was raised today but the, the the scene was in police custody when that happened so the best person to ask is the police what's the next question and these are the these are the critiques or these are the things that's happening that you expect um to to the things was raised that there was an odor in the house, but the dog did dead and that was that was said it. Um they, they said that there was blood, that those things not true. Um so we have to be careful in terms of um the reality of what's in the space and what is not. But I'm not here to try no case because I was in the trial attorney. Big up yourself, Mr. Tom Tavares, KFC. Mr. Vincent KFC, KFC boss. So the perceived ignorance and incompetence of the jury is another cause for concern. In Nanan and the State, 1986, the foreman instructed the jury that a majority verdict was needed when, in fact, it should have been unanimous, as he did not know the meaning of the word unanimous. Literacy and low level of education can have a negative impact on the process of trial by jury. I'm reading from a book. So if anybody think I'm disrespecting, I'm showing you what the critic is, is. Can you imagine somebody come and say, yeah, we have to get a majority verdict. Uh, I saw we do it. Can you see in my constituency, when we have vote all the people them, and the majority them we use, and we have to be majority upon this when he's trying to say unanimous. Think on those things. Jury may place too much emphasis on their feelings. Feelings, nothing more than my feelings. And it allowed their decisions to be affected by sympathies for the defendant or the victim instead of making their decisions on the evidence alone. According to Antoine, this leads to an unfair lack of uniformity in decisions and to an unpredictability in the law. 
since jury law will change from case to case and from jury to jury. So it is unlike the certainty of a judicial precedent which followed on points of legal principle. So jurors may also be affected by prejudice and bias. And it is believed that juries are greatly influenced by the appearance, class, and manner of defendants and witnesses. For example, the negative view of Rastafarians. Jurors may be willing to let their prejudices make up their minds before the trial even begin. And trust me, it's not just jurors. I can tell you, I went in front of some people and my, just, just my Rasta alone made them say, yo, I'm the worst thing. And with two years, eh? So the jurors' engagement during the trial, which may be affected by boredom or willingness to be present, is also a cause of concern. So it is quite possible for decisions to be rushed because jurors want to go home. These things sound familiar? Think on these things. Yes, yes, BCA. Yes, Lotto. Big up the rat. <laughs> yeah, the, the demon. What kind of name that? Sunshine. Rochelle, yeah, you're following me. Um, big up my TikTok people. Why the police officer bring home the accused phone? Uh, so them days they phone phone did hard for buy and Blackberry, Blackberry and them things there. When you have your little Nokia banger, you want to play with a Blackberry and them things there. So you, you take home the phone and you go to KFC and you buy a six piece and you say, Hey my girl, may I come check you? May I bring some KFC for you? And then you <laughs> yeah, you know. You give me the ungle mengle. Yeah. So in the smaller jurisdictions within the Commonwealth Caribbean, the general problems with jury trials are often exas exacerbated. So local knowledge of the defendant and or the crime can lead to impartiality. And this is the magnified by ease of access to new reports and even further magnified by the technological advances of the modern era. So this begs the question of how well the jury system can work in the 21st century now that the internet makes it impossible to, to research a defendant's or, or witness history. How can you, uh, can you ask for a retrial given the mass publicity for years with the most popular human being in, 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 in the criminal justice system at the moment? Just you, you just let me know that. So it has been said that jury system lacks transparency as the members cannot be held accountable for their decisions as they are not required to give reasons as in the case of judicial judgments. If the members of the jury were to behave in a perverse or improper manner, it would never be known. It may be suggested that the only way to achieve transparency in the system is for trials to be determined by a single judge or three judges. So... The, these these are the criticisms and when when you hear the criticisms and you see what what is being discussed about the jury room and to say after you're talking about all the, the cultural dynamics it is you know all you have to try this it's easy to get on a bus and just say somebody arm um, stink everybody are gonna move from them and all of a sudden everybody smell it all if one of them I go as far as pass gas on the bus and blame somebody in the front. And everybody got skin up them face and say they're nasty and they don't investigate. They just believe. So everybody can just tell people. So you just can tell life on somebody. Just, just try this. Go up Portmore and let off your friend a back road and say, May I go to KFC and come back and pick you up? And somebody just wants to see you let's have you. you just somebody just wants to see you at back road and argument done. Nobody then somebody say, yes, yeah, so and so hanging out at back road. And it done. You can't you can't you can't resuscitate your character so easily because people is gonna say that them see you doing there. And they make assumptions when things aren't so. And so that is that is that is the crux of it. That you have to if you're dealing with fair trial right and you're protecting, remember, you know. What's the balance? You people to say um the cost of a trial. Are you a chemical okay, trial? You know, the cost of a trial on the state is more important than the life and liberty of somebody. Is 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 a is a very horrible place to 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 that's not a gamble, and the constitution doesn't contemplate that. 
And when the constitution made that public interest was to make sure that you're protected from that. So when, I, when I, I'm speaking to you all now and I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that my, my audience understands um, what, we, what we're faced with, understands what we're dealing with. Give me one second. Wait, once, once we understand this to be the reality, you see, you, you see, you see how different instantly um, what, what, what we're faced with comes, comes into to, to the forefront. So the, there, so the disadvantages can be countered by many advantages, some of which highlight the flaws in the criticism. So the most favorable advantage of trial by jury is the fact that the jury's verdict is the expression of the community's conscience. And so if that is tainted by uh, a poison, but remember conscience is a moral thing because if you, if the, 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 it's simple this. If you're not guilty, why, why you need to bribe them? God, that's a government, if you, if you, if you's a helper, you're gonna say, eh, eh, wanna come bribe me. Like I you know, I got church every week. If you, if you, if you're near, you, you, my boss not pay me no extra money. You know, the only time you get extra money, I when me catch him, a half a tree, I drop off in human, me start get extra money if you not tell, if you not tell the missus. So this young man, you know, I can't talk about him. He might give me, he might give me um money for Lego man. The man name most guilty. Take me a idiot, me a sense. So you say, all me now, me I got vote guilty upon them, but him a sing about ramping shop. And I them thing there, I saw me get me first, baby. That's the kind of conversation, the, the simplicity of the conversations. And so the, the, the helper and the jury now say, me I got to take me moral high road coming. Now I'm getting at them, he's in scheme, he's, he's in scheme, he's a seven-day Adventist. Me now, me now backslide and me show my partner. Yeah, this is the I'm 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 giving you cult, the cultural dynamics because the word the thing. Let me tell you something about a jury. Put me upon a jury and make my spirit not take you. Now me all you means a lawyer. Make my spirit not take you. If my spirit not take you, you are going to prison. And if me ever walk in at the courtroom and 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 me feel like stay. The defense lawyer attacked too strong. Me just go find the client guilty. And if me go in there and the prosecutor hugly, the client now go guilty. And if it, and and these are biases, and you're not required. You're not required. You can't even question it. And so to deal with the taint is a problem. Listen up, context matters. May have to make sure I so bring home the point to you. Know. Because some people will just get up and say, you know, say, me I come and work this morning and when me go for buy the coffee, Starbucks lock. And so me make a coffee myself. And I saw me you know, say, I saw me know, say, I then commit the crime. And me now go tell her about something, me I hold me harder. Yeah, that is, that is, what we have to understand so we have cultural biases that eat to, to to ask the apex court to take into consideration and today i learned something profound from lord Burroughs today when he asked the 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 the, the learned counsel representing the dpp if the poison was in england where white people are being prosecuted, if that poison ought to stay on the jury, and he laughed and he said, "No, we would get rid of that pro that poison." The thing about it is that the the English law is so ahead of of the Jamaican law that they would have already corrected it to ensure that judge alone. So the answer is to in is 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 to say. We lost a trial because our legislators failed to put into place a position. I remember this trial took place in, 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 in 2013 or something like that, or whenever. And what is, what is so important about that, yeah, what is important of that, what is important about that, and I wanted to appreciate this, is um, the legislators haven't corrected it. 
And so we're the thinkers, the movers, and the shakers. We know they can correct legislation. Me can tell you this. Them can just come tomorrow and say, we're going to legislate and do this. And it happens, especially when they have a supermajority. And I urge them to do that. They can do it right, right now. Just take up the English Act, look at the Act, change it. And we in law. When they didn't want to increase mandatory minimum, so people could have go to prison for more time for possession of firearms, they just did it. When they wanted to keep the learned DPP, they did it. They do what they want to do. So a simple solution is to say, yeah, we're upholding the constitutional rights of the men. And if the legislators wish, they can do that. Simple answer. Not give us another try. One more try is all I need. I say, well, so they go away, they do the driving test and fail. They need one more try. Or you take a common entrance and fail. One more try. Yeah. Can you imagine you're born and, and, and you come out and you realize that your mother and father are ugly and then poor? You say, one more try. God, baby, go back up in our mother's something. Anyway, let me stop. The, the, the concept of the one more try is just... Anyway, so um, I just putting that out there. So when I, when I, I'm speaking to my people. I'm speaking to my Caribbean people. I'm speaking to um, the, the... It's who calling me I stop. It's I start. But I stop. Keisha, as my moderator, it must be nice. Um, it's why on the law of it. Yeah. Oh, see that right. So, so, so I going, so I'm going to upgrade from the Will Smith box and say this the idea of a real trial deserve a Rita Marley box. And if you if you don't know what that means, big up yourself, Rita Marley, because I tell you say that swing there. <laughs> Bob didn't really get the box there. <laughs> Rita, you're large. Yeah, but you one more try. Rita but Bali box. Anyway, so we the I'm not here to answer the questions, but the answers are there from Zimbabwe to England to um many other jury systems that if we don't get the joke, it's because they don't watch the Bob Marley movie. And may I tell you, no, you cannot be in the Caribbean and don't support that movie. Forget what the critics say. Yeah? It is a story and we must celebrate. We must celebrate our people and support our people. Support the story. Support Ziggy. Support them. Support the Marleys. Um... Because Bob Marley is 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 has made contribution to Jamaica far and wide, and support it if I even for going there go fast and find out oh 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 them just do sin this so, they just do sin this so you do miss world so how can thing that you know what I'm saying just go there and and get a little mix up and like it but respect um respect that the man was touched by God if you're not spiritual you're gonna miss it. And that 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 is the thing. Natural is the mystic. You know what I'm mean? saying? Um. Anyway, let me not depart because the 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 what people don't understand is there there is a higher power, and and people there's stars align and 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 people get get ideas, and the more things change, the more they remain the same. And the system is what we um have to ensure is corrected so that when we are not here our children don't go through the same cycles that we want can you imagine our forefathers fight for freedom only for us to abuse ourselves is that the type of society that you want to be in is that what you want for your kids and the next generation you don't you want the best versions of ourselves? Don't you want don't you want every young man, every young woman to strive to want to be in 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 the halls of justice? Can you imagine a, a, a society where we are all lawyers and doctors and we can sew with own clothes and bust with own song and 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 play basketball and netball and football and train and all of these things because we're multifaceted and multi-talented? Can you imagine if we support each other by coming to our TikToks and our YouTubes and our programs and ensuring that we 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 use our platforms to educate and ensure that we're we're better amongst ourselves? We, we have to connect the dots. 
because that's what the the change is about connecting the dots to make sure that the, the least among us supposed to say supposed to go out into the world and say mm -mm, me poor but what is this going on right here so let me go back home i appreciate what's going on with me let me go back and live on my road that is that 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 is what we're talking about and it cannot um <laughs> chronic buy me a ferrari a way i thought about which road am i gonna drive it pan anyway so what 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 happens in the end is just pay attention at of how the narrative shift and how um delay really defeats equity delay defeats equity that's why when judgment day you know when judgment day come remember you know some of we now got no ac when judgment day come the ac will not be there mm -hmm. that's all i'm gonna say so in a in, in a nutshell a nutshell that sounded like it rhyme in a nutshell trial by jury should be kept and um viable reforms implemented that ensure that it becomes an even fairer and more representative system um juries that include all of our communities people that allow for the expression of all their informed conscience and take into account the sum of all their historical experiences simply are more competent to dispense justice and if that justice is not always perfect well neither is anything else the side of the grave all right and and johnny cochran says that um may his soul rest in peace um Oh, let me make that clear. The Privy Council has not yet made its decision. Um, and we are we we are waiting on that. What we are discussing is um the treatment of four sons of Jamaica um who were deprived of their constitutional right, deprived of a fair hearing, um, because of a tainted juror. No question about that, because of breaches of the constitution, no questions about that and living now in the reality that we're saying notwithstanding that they shouldn't be afforded they shouldn't be afforded that opportunity they shouldn't be afforded their constitutional rights and in fact here's how i see it um if we if you feel that way um if you're okay with that then i should i should say you know something ugly people shouldn't deserve constitutional rights um neither poor people in fact, I feel like um, we should just clear all. We should clear all the ghettos in Jamaica and just um, put up high-rise buildings and 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 send all those send those people to the bush. They don't deserve co constitutional rights, and they should just go up in the truck back. You know, that that that's 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 what we need for 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 the society. So, um, constitutional rights should be reserved for the elite. It should be reserved for. Um, shades of brown that is a little bit um on the the butter pecan side or is it caramel i'm not too i'm not too au fait with my cho chocolate so i'm i'm going to find that out um and or 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 we we, we need to find a way to ensure that um people should wear shoes these open toe things when 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 you told them don't shape good because your, your genetics is bad we don't want to see no umpy scumpy feet, and those people shouldn't have constitutional rights. You, 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 I know you understand what I'm saying, you know? And, and some of you are from, from there. See, it's it's called ch chocolate pecan. Yes, 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 yes. But you get the point. So so um we we, we have to get rid of that mentality because 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 our space is where we live is for all of us. We we didn't ask to be joined there. 10 jury still okay after 80 days testing the demon can't change no man mind so bias conscious well that, that's what you have to say and some people are easily influenced you know, because i can tell you imagine me upon a jury and then a box of KFC, lunchtime come on a box of kfc hey hey six piece yeah six piece and i tell you this so anyway that is that is the, the things that we have to um contend with but the bias um is certainly something that we have to look at the the, the bias is whether it's implicit or unconscious is 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 
an aspect that we want to deal with across. And bias is also on the defense side. Bias is also on the prosecution side. Bias is also on the judge side. The thing about it is that the prosecutor has a right to be biased. I'm putting things in context now. Because the prosecutor is prosecuting. The prosecutor has the file and the prosecutor forms a view about something and it, 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 it causes them to act the way they act. I'm sure there are people in the spaces. Um, yeah, I'm sure that will happen. One done, um, more 45. Um, yeah, those things are taken into consideration. When you must be patient, you know, and already wait for 13 years, you know, already wait 13 years, be still and know God and time. That's why that was the mantra God and time. Don't ever forget that. Um, so, so, and and it's so ironic because that's the same thing. The complaint is about pressure put on the jury to reach a verdict and look at the whole of you now ready to pressure. I said, I just inbox you. I want you to help me open back my strip club. Yes, let me hear this now. What's going on with the strip club? Um, the, the, the message gone. Gone far. We don't see the message. But anyway, all right. Uh, somebody over to say go go segment. <laughs> no. Go go 2.0. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, we don't want copyright infringement. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so so that is what we're looking for. So I have made my submission to you, or I have attempted to, to speak about. The right to trial by jury, the, the impartial jury, the independent jury, individually and collectively. And to say to you that um, we must want for people what we want for ourselves. Um, when, we, when we appreciate and get there about wanting for ourselves equally what we want for um and want that for people that is that that is the, the the road to progression progress and so you would have seen I, I don't have to tell you um if somebody would have told me that um the, my experience um just sharing with you um the ccj caribbean court of justice e excellent um is excellent experience going before the court of appeal the jamaican court of appeal is an awesome experience um this experience was no greater than um appearing before justice pat donald bishop justice brooks and justice straw for this very matter so i wanted to understand that the judges in jamaica are erudite judges I'm not pandering. I wanted. I wanted to. I want you to understand and appreciate that the only thing you would have seen is um, advocacy before the privy council, and so the law. The, that's why. That's why justice is blind, and the scales are balanced. Because if you close your eyes and you listen to what is being said, for instance, my senior Hugh Saudi, um, his his he's making excellent points and i saw people making fun of the stuttering and they missed the magic the 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 the, the hot fire dylan dylan fashing wing wing you missed the you missed the shots that were fired because you were worried about speech rather than that than than respecting the 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 information that was coming and comments were made about when I was doing that, I gesticulate too much and, and, and my nose too big. My must be related to Andrew. That's not the only thing that's big. Just letting you know. So anyway, um, these things are a distraction to the important part and people will miss the opportunity to, to learn because you, you you just have a discriminatory discriminatory nature about you that you just have to fix and 
I'm 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 just imploring people to try to be the best version of yourself. Respect um those who you can learn from and respect works both ways so you don't need to be in space where people are tearing you down but but have compassion and empathy and give people the benefit of the doubt until those who are putting the burden to satisfy reasonable doubt do so without um any taint of corruption and the taint of corruption is that not on their part but on the part that the things that make justice don't not appear to be transparent and justice done because of it being executed in the best possible way not asking for perfection you know but if you're going to put 12 people in the room you discharge them for reasons that are justified if if it becomes to 11 and you have to discharge another one then so be it because don't say it wastes your time because a man has spent you now 13 years in prison because somebody didn't want to waste time and resources and now is asking to say, we save up money over the 14 years. Can we have another trial? Can we, we now have the resources? We found money like them related to Portia. Ah, ah, ah. Jada must step on Jada step on my TikTok. She called my name a while ago. Anyway, um, so that's 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 just the reality. And so I'm gonna. I know I started, so I really want to big up the people in the comments. Um, Reggae Global Radio. Um, who are watching? Who are who are who are also listening? Um. I want to say big up to you as well. Um, similarly, I want to just your thoughts, uh, and I, I see the over the overwhelming support um, certainly today. So I know say it looked like me do a little thing, and I seen that that, that I am proud of. Um, that's good reason for you know, to go go and buy my music and watch my music video and tell me what you think about it. Those things. Um, cause you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't have a little side work, you know. Human rights law don't pay, you know. But anyway, yeah. So, so to 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 put that in context, also, you know, we we must make better use of our our, our social media spaces to to educate each other. So that I have an understanding because it was a 14 years of misinformation being put in the, in the media. And now with clarity, the narrative has shifted in such a way that um, we, 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 we can appreciate um, what it is that when somebody is a defender of human rights, the context in which they're saying that this is what I am, this is what I'm about. I don't think that this this case is any different from uh, a, 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 a young five-year-old Rasta girl who is now probably 11 or 12 and was removed from her school because she had dreadlocks. Um, or, I mean, other situations where, where, where discrimination raises its head because somebody's rights is violated for all the wrong reasons. Um, and so those are the things that I contemplate. Albeit, although I, although I'm tired and I'll know, although it's now 11.48 in, in London, I still had to share because context matters. And I, I, I just want to thank those people who support me. I want you to click the subscribe button, um, like and share, tell people about it because this is my happy space, you know. That's why I can talk to um, the people who come every week and 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 share with me, so I can learn from you. And I'm, I apologize for not reading the comments as much today, but there, there this this conversation I wanted to have with you because we are jurors every day. It might not be in the formal system, but we pass verdicts every day. Yes, I noticed, and and kudos to the minister for apologizing 
and 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 I I will say from this platform that um, the gaslighting from the article um, is 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 unfortunate because certainly I never sell no send no letter to bad up the minister and and a, any time somebody is man enough to apologize and and when when people apologize we we are we become judges and we we don't want to um we will say we have a problem with the apology but if you apologize and and you mean it that is the most important thing um if we exercise forgiveness um it takes us uh, it takes us a mile away and sometimes god God puts God will let things happen to us. That's why I said go watch the Bob Marley movie. A man shot him and him come and ask him, 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 him apologize to him and him say, Yeah, Rasta love, I forgive you. So I, everybody is unkind to me. I always forgive them. I have no reason. I don't lose sleep at night. Might lose some KFC, but I don't lose sleep. And and that that too is important. So that being said, you know, um, yeah, that being said, I don't know what I'm getting congratulated. Oh, congratulations for being for, for the submissions. Yeah, so that is the thing about um spiritual spirit spiritual spirituality. Um yeah, you just it's God on time. You leave you leave things to God. And you you will understand showing up for the moments is 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 important. And I mean, most of you were here. So in December, I don't know what they're laughing for. You know, so the comments are lit. In December, when um I was I was suspended with a view to ensure that I not show up for Mr. Palmer. I, I know that's what it was. Um, people can say whatever. Um, if you if people yeah but god is god is a dynamic god and when if it's written by god not, nothing can stop that which is why you can have no fear and and those things had happened so i know the importance of what the task it was for me to do because when our court of appeal the jamaican court of appeal gave me the opportunity to come here they didn't have to do it there's exercise of discretion and allowed me to 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 be able to participate here the appreciation is more heightened and the opportunity that's why second chances are important you know that's why even when people get convicted and then go to jail like 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 um marcus garvey like Martin Luther King, like Malcolm X. Any must Obama alone is a black man. We never forgot to prison and be great. But when when those second chances, you don't make you 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 know how important those opportunities are, and you know what your duty, you, you know you know what your duty is. And I'm I'm just sharing that with you because there are many of you that are going through things in your life um, that you have to let go of. Or you need that push. You need that message to 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 make you walk into the great into your great self. I'm not professing to be a great man. I'm saying going into your great self because it's a work in process, work in progress, and it's a process. But also to know that when it is that, especially talking to the diaspora, when you're in the diaspora, you're representing Jamaica. You know. Every, you are you every time you go outside of the of Jamaica, you represent Jamaica and you represent the Caribbean and you represent Africa and you represent Brazil and you represent if you are black, you represent everything, everybody black everywhere in the world. Um, but but you you know, national identity is also something that is important. So I share that with you and 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 also say that. We must also learn to separate the the human from the duty. And once somebody is doing their duties, the human flaws are something that I'm not saying overlook them, but to appreciate it. Like I would, I 
was before I turned the um this stream on and 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 in preparations for this this um show I was I walked from the train station after leaving court and I heard Whitney Houston I want to dance with somebody and I said but Whitney Houston is dead but the night before that I heard Bob Marley and he's also dead but they're so alive and 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 they left their stories their legacies their their un their 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 untimely demise um their their success and their failures but all what was left was the talent given to them by god that they had the opportunity to share with us and um that is what we need to strive for to share your um the opportunity to share whatever gift it is that God give you. Um, I learned something over the last two days is that I, I love the law. Yeah. So I'm just sharing that with you. But I also love music. So I must say, what, what, somebody tell me what her name. It's not Queen. It's Pretty Dawn. Pretty Dawn asks me what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if she put out a video to find out if I did do what I did for do. Um, but anyway, so that's it. We're in the social space and we appreciate and respect everybody that's doing their thing. The space is for everybody. And so we send the support. I don't know if she's out there, but she was like, Mr. Isat, you all go sing. And you might give you nine songs. What are you going to do? So I saw the video and I, I found it uh, I found it very interesting. And um, curious to see how she's going to respond. But anyway, yeah, that's it. So... I want to say as we close, because the next time, no one's live. Yeah. I will know. The, the spirit will move me to tell you in what context and whatever. And I was laughing because every time one of the councils stood, they said, to put it in context. So I always know, you know, that context matters because things are tangential. Things are perspective-based. But if put in the pop, in the proper um context trust me context matters yeah so so where where context matters a uh, 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 somebody who is a cookie would be so upset if you call them a biscuit <laughs> you will get that joke that's so funny anyway yeah that 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 that's it for the day. So um I just want to share that and thank you for the overwhelming support for um all in life video. And I mean I hear nobody tell me some look nice and only tell me some can sing so but we'll work out some more. So yeah most of that I go on but yeah so again the poison to poison or not to poison, that was the topic and the jury. I hope I, in discussion of the case, and remember this was a educational, hypothetical, speculative conversation. None of the views are attributed to Reggae Global Radio or um, they're the views of the professor as in in this thing um and no none of the views are kfc's the only thing that kfc contributes is when you go and purchase the barbecue chicken but it is completely so this is my disclaimer everything was hypothetical and the what if similar and identical to what took place in the court an invitation to speculate in a in a hope that um without any legal basis or authority on the point to come to a conclusion that is an absurdity of the law one can never gamble or negotiate injustice one can never negotiate fair trial and it's a is a right in the constitution that could never be um whittled down and reduced to just words on the page and i need you to know that if ever you're going to respect yourself Respect that your human rights must always be valued and respected by the creatures who are put in places by virtue of the Constitution to serve you. 
And um, yeah, there's a lot more learning to do because in this space we're uneducated and we reset every morning with a view to be better, correct? And so you guys were watching Context Matters. It does, always does. And I appreciate you guys for, for sticking around because you could be anywhere else, but you chose to be with me. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I ain't got no billion dollars, but we getting there, baby. So that that's that. We are officially standing out. Blessings, everybody. And I'm bigging up next week. Make sure you come back. Like, click, subscribe, subscribe, um, declare, creed, the blood of Jesus, all of that. Yes, yeah, St. Thomas Road fix. So if you like, if not now, go on good in your life. You know what to do. All right, take care. Mm. Yeah, you two people. Big up on yourself, Rochelle. I see you. Good night. Good night, Rowena Williams. Azamara, Sonia Powell. Good night. Good night. Borderline, good night. I know you guys are leaving. I know. Um, so we'll see you. Petro, I see you. Veraldo, you find context matters. Big up yourself. Um, Rosemary Robinson. Singer Dong official. Big up yourself. Jermaine D. London. Yeah, London. London. Rochelle Gills then. Max, Whoopi B. Audrey Cook. Everybody big up on yourself. Um, take care. See you guys next week. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to walk on stream. So I'll be walking for two hours next week. So um yeah. We'll see how that works out. Blessings. <laughs>